first public hearing for this evening, Tuesday, November 28th. Uh, the purpose of the public hearing is for our application to the Community Renewal uh, Development Block Grant Program. And we have uh, submitted a $250,000 uh, grant application. So anyone from the public uh, wishing to speak on this uh, grant application, please step to the rail and uh, state your name for the record. Hearing none, public hearing is closed. 753. Six, yeah, 653. Thank you. He could be in charge of time. evening. Uh, the purpose of this public hearing is to uh, for the inclusion of a parcel into agricultural district number two and also inclusion of a parcel into agricultural district number three. If anyone from the public wishes to comment on this, please step to the rail and state your name for the record. See none? Public hearings adjourned. Uh, 6.55, 6.56. We're gonna have our group picture taken this evening, so if you just bear with us before the meeting starts at seven. <laughs> Are you sure? I 
bad earlier. I lent you my tie again, but I don't want to. Alright, wait a minute. One more turn and I'll make that.
reflection and inspiration to the answer of community. Yesterday afternoon, Lisa lost his battle to cancer and passed away. The Dutton Forum community re-elected him as first board all day. They knew the 65-year-old was sick, and they wrote a true testament to how loved and respected the so was. engagement 
serving as a driving force in the creation of Danielle's House in Amsterdam, in addition to meeting with community partners and acting as a liaison between social services and many different community organizations. And whereas Mrs. Del Costello displayed excellent command of state and federal regulations, was key in drafting the employment plan each year, was a key advisor for department policy, assisted the fraud unit on its cases, and her knowledge of the department was impeccable and unmatched. Now therefore, be it resolved, County Executive Matthew L. Ossenfort, Legislative Chairman Roy S. Diamond, and Legislator Michael J. Pepp, on behalf of the Montgomery County Legislature, hereby proclaim Tuesday, November 28, 2017, as an official date in Montgomery County to most gratefully recognize, show appreciation, and to wholeheartedly thank Johanna Del Costello for her years of dedicated service to Montgomery County and its residents. Congratulations. Convoy for a Cause celebrated its fourth year, and despite inclement weather, the convoy was as big as ever with 200 vehicles making the drive from the Beach Nut uh, parking lot in the town of Florida down Route 5S to the Pond Fairgrounds. Whereas the fourth cause, uh, fourth Convoy for a Cause raised money for the WGY Christmas Wish, the Leather Stocking Honor Flight, and collected new toys for the Toys for Tots program. And whereas this year, the Convoy for a Calls also honored M.W. Roosevelt and son of Kanjahari and fallen tow truck driver Jamie Hopke by promoting the Move Over Law, which requires vehicles to move over and change lanes to give safe clearance to law enforcement, officers, firefighters, ambulances, tow trucks, and other vehicles responding to roadside assistance. And whereas the Convoy for a Calls raised more than $9,000 in 2016, and in its history, the event has benefited many organizations and efforts to put this <coughs> Montgomery County Office uh, for the Aging, uh, Meals on Wheels, Brothersville Jackson Baldwin, who suffered from a genetic uh, disease, and the Wounded uh, Warrior Project. Bowenville resident Ethan Allen, uh, Ito Action, and the North, North National Alliance of Mental Illness. And now, therefore, be it resolved, County Executive Matthew L. Ossenford, Legislative Chairman Roy Diamond, and on behalf of the Montgomery County Legislature, hereby proclaim Tuesday, November 28, 2017, as an official date in Montgomery County to honor, thank, and recognize Convoy for a Cause 
for the good work that the event has done <coughs> excuse me, in the community and the money it has raised for its local charity organization and causes. Thank you. Thank you. If I could, I just wanted to uh, recognize other people who make this event happen. Uh, it's certainly not uh, a one-man band. Uh, Debbie Wilder, who's Montgomery County Agricultural Society Secretary, is an integral part. She signs in every single person who comes to the convoy. Over 200 trucks she actually...